tutorial for the use of the Volleyball South Australia mobile web app available for iPhones and Android phones. Now, once you've uploaded the application, it'll take uh, 30 seconds or so. You'll probably see a black screen and a white screen as it loads some data, and then you'll see this screen for a few seconds. Um, it should automatically move to another screen, which is down here. These are teams that you're following. Uh, in the first instance, your screen should be blank as you're not following any teams. Uh, if you went to this uh, favorites uh, team here, favorites tab, you could set your favorites. I'll just clear mine for you. And uh, once I pick, uh, I navigate down to uh, Norwood. And if I was lucky, I could come just a little bit down. I could select Norwood 1. Uh, the icon will change to a tick to show you that you're, you're following it. And when I come back here, I should be able to see uh, the list. This list tells me that on uh, Friday, August the 10th at um, a particular time, uh, you'll see that Norwood 1 is playing SAVC 2 and the duty team is Henley. So Norwood is playing on Friday night and afterwards they've got a duty with um, uh, on the team that follows after them. Uh, also available is some club information. You could navigate to your club. Uh, you could click. And here the application is asking if it can use the uh, current location of the, uh, the phone because it's got a map built into it. Here I can select my team if I navigate to Norwood Boys 1 again. Um, this shows uh, all of their games for the season. Um, the first tab only showed you the games that have yet to be played. This shows all of them. If I click this one, you can see it's Norwood 1 versus Mount Lofty and it's going to be played at Unley. If I click it, um, it then automatically navigates to the map. In your application, there's a drop-down marker which shows you that this is um, where Unley is. If you pinch the map uh, to make it smaller, you can also see where, uh, where your current location is. If you really want, you can grab street time, and if you're really lost, you can have a quick look around and uh, see what's going on. Um, in addition to that, if you come back to the main tab, uh, as well as clubs, there's also venues, just in case you know where you go, where, where you are going to be playing. Uh, you can navigate to Brighton. It'll show you some basic information about the place. Um, once we add some more information to you, maybe it shows you where the courts are inside um, that venue. And of course, there's a, you know, a basic map. Once again, it's got a marker on the actual phone version. As well as that, there's a communications tab. Uh, by default, all users receive uh, communications from VSA. These are in the form of small, short messages that VSA might want to send out. The app can also receive club information. Uh, you can apply for club information here in the settings tab. Uh, you might just put your information in and uh, a simple email address if you wanted to and uh, you can select uh, what club you might want to follow and you can apply to that club. Um, once your, uh, that message goes to the, diff to the different approvers of the club and uh, once they receive that and approve it, um, this will change to active. Once it's active, the club's information will also appear here. At the same time as giving you short messages from your uh, perhaps your coaches or your club administrators, um, if you came all the way back to the um, favourites information, it will also show you which players are playing uh, for the next week. Thank you very much for this um, looking at my short uh, demonstration of this application. Hope you enjoy it. If you've got any suggestions, please pass them on to your club admin or IT people, and uh, maybe we make another version with improvements in it as well. Thank you.